This is your film to frame pin bar. It has five stainless steel pins that are identical in placement as the art grit layout board pins. Underneath are two sets of stainless steel pins that will accommodate two standard frame sizes. All your Newman frames should have installed a set of stainless steel pin locks, one side with the slot and the other side with the hole. Place your pin bar on a flat surface Position your pin bar as shown and mark the placement. This is important so that every screen you register is done always at the same spot for consistency and repeatability. Take a coated screen and place it on the table. Take your pin bar and carefully insert the pin down into the hole of the pin lock and then pivot the pin bar to the opposite corner and drop it into the pin lock slot. Now slide both the pin bar and the frame to the markings on the table to position them. Take your film and carrier sheet and match the pre-punch holes to the pin bar. You may also notice that the middle hole of the film is purposely punched off center by half inch. This is to prevent the carrier sheet from accidentally being placed upside down on your screen. The holes either match or they don't. Smooth the carrier sheet down to the screen as shown and secure with tape at all four corners. Now lift the film to frame pin bar off the pin logs and rotate it towards your body to easily release from the carrier sheet. Repeat the steps for the remaining two colors. As you can see, this process is quick and simple. No need to pull out the ruler or T-square as the film was already pre-positioned for the screen maker in the art department. Each screen should take a minute to pin. You have just completed the process of accurately pinning a three color job using the Art of Frame pin bar.
Now place your screens into your exposure unit and expose as normal.